Before beginning installation, determine the best location and soil type for placement. For more detailed information, consult the installation instructions. You will need these tools for the rough end stage. Excavate the trench for the conduit and hole for the box. Excavate the conduit pathway according to local codes. Install PVC conduit stub with the male adapter to 10 and 3 quarter inches below finished grade. Backfill the excavated area with number 57 grade crushed stone for the subbase and 4 inch lifts. Compact the subbase to within 2 inches of the top of the male adapter. Add another 2.5 inch layer of number 8 grade crushed stone and compact to the top of the male adapter. To install the ground box body, first remove the mud cap. Remove two screws, then insert a flat blade screwdriver into the slot and pry the top off. Remove the cover and set aside for later. Remove the installation plate from the ground box base. Remove the desired knockout to match your conduit and reattach the installation plate. Place the ground box body over the conduit and use the ground box installation plate to position the box. Adjust the box position and use a threaded lock nut on the male adapter of the conduit. Do not over tighten. Reinstall the mud cap by snapping one end of the cover in, then attaching with the two screws previously used. Then level and backfill the box. Use spoils from excavation as backfill, removing stones larger than 3 inches. Backfill in 4 inch lifts to finish grade, tamping between each lift. For installations other than grade, leave enough depth for pavers, concrete, etc. These are the tools you will need for installing the cover. To start, remove the mud cap. Remove two screws, then insert a flat blade screwdriver into the slot and pry the top off. Remove the threaded lock nut and installation plate. Keep the threaded lock nut for later use. The installation plate can be discarded at this time. The powered ground box cover assembly comes fully wired right out of the box. The low voltage covers require some assembly. See installation instructions. Prepare the termination box for electrical connection by removing the screws and separating the two halves of the box. All connection hardware needed is inside. Retain for later use. There are two pilot holes on the box to help you determine the correct hole position. Drill a hole in the bottom of the box to match the male adapter on the conduit. To attach the termination box to the base, first place a fitting gasket over the male adapter. Then place the lower half of the termination box over the fitting. Fix the termination box to the base with two screws that are provided. Secure the conduit to the termination box with the lock nut and tighten with the lock nut tool. This tool will work with three sizes of lock nuts. Make the electrical connections with the three wet location wire nuts provided. Then install the top half of the termination box. Verify that the cover gasket is positioned in the groove, then secure the cover with the four screws provided. To install the cover assembly into the base, hold the cover in a raised position and attach with two screws. Tilt the cover back and place two more screws on the egress end. Raise the cover and tilt it back. A supplied key will keep the connection safe from unauthorized use. Plug in power cords and loop them behind the tabs to route them out of the box. When closed, the spring